Nurturing children's minds and molding them to be tomorrow's leaders is a gift. It's also hard work. It's a combination that can be found in some very special teachers at Northside who were honored as Northside's 2013 Elementary Educators of the Year. Here's a closer look into what makes them simply the best. One, two, three. It may look like child's play, but these students are part of Joe Beret's third grade class at Valley High. And this outdoor adventure is their science lesson for the day. So, the answer is one. The answer is one. Joe is in his first year of teaching and says he's passionate about creating lesson plans that will engage his students. His hard work paid off when he was named first year elementary educator of the year. Oh my goodness, that was just so unexpected, so unexpected. While Joe was surprised, some of his students say they knew Mr. Gray had it in him all along. Because after all, he is the one that taught them the motto, don't just do it, do it right. We were so excited that we started um, we started clapping for him and, um, and saying he's the best teacher in the whole district. The reward of, of the kids learning, you know, just the light bulbs that you know turn on and stuff like that. That's, that's the most rewarding part. And after a successful lesson of volcanic eruptions, Joe made a little time for some outdoor play with his students. He says while school is about learning, it's also about making it fun for the kids. I didn't like it yesterday. You know who y'all like it today? Oh, Lord. <laughs> so we went to get our brains warmed up. My favorite thing about kindergarten is the growth that I see from the beginning of school to the end of the school year, and it's, it's an incredible amount of learning that takes place. Deborah Seaman has a true passion for teaching some of the youngest students. Ready? Abracadabra, Kalama, zoo! She teaches kindergarten at Thornton Elementary, and a big part of her job is teaching these bright-eyed children how to read. When they're actually doing it, and you see that light bulb turn on, that's just the best feeling, because you know that, that you got to be a part of making that happen. After 21 years in education, Deborah says she still gets excited when she can engage her students in the day's lesson. With qualities like these, it's no wonder Deborah was recognized as the district's elementary educator of the year. It's just a, you know, that heart pounding feeling and just so much pride. Deborah may have been surprised, but her students say they knew all along Mrs. Seaman is simply the best. And she's the best teacher ever. She's very nice, and she's and she's like all the kinds of character that I imagined she would be. And, and she's really beautiful, and she's a great teacher to me. And let me get a yeehaw if you know what to do. Yeehaw! It's my honor to announce Northside's nominee for the 2013 Trinity Prize for Excellence in Teaching, Coots Elementary School's Isabel Anaya. For me, it's finding what's ex what excites them. So I have to figure out what is it about them that gets them excited. And at the same time, it also excites me. Fifth grade teacher Isabel Anaya teaches science at Kuntz Elementary School. In science, do you have to be precise? Yes. Yes. She has been teaching for the past 12 years and says even after all this time, she still gets a little nervous. It still hits. <laughs> there are still days where, you know, I... I wonder, you know, am I, am I going to pull this off with them, you know, but a lot of it is just having that confidence, you know, and knowing that, you know, I'm prepared, you know, I have my lessons prepared. And when she sees the excitement in her students' faces, Isabel knows she's making a difference. She 
actually gives us a lot of different activities and ways we can remember stuff. She teaches us songs and we do a lot of fun activities and it's just always a happy day. Please help me congratulate Isabel and Naya, our second Trinity Prize recipient. And indeed, it was a happy day when Isabel and Naya was also named this year's Trinity Prize for Excellent Winner. She was one of two teachers in the San Antonio region to receive the prestigious award from Trinity University. I love doing it. I love what I do and I love being able to find different ways to teach the concepts instead of here's a paper, here's a pencil, open up a book. Oh no! 